Hey guys, my name is Akio. Today I'll be doing a video that's been requested for some time, the Beetle Breakdown. In this video I'll be going over most of the basics of Beetle as a character and some of his more in-depth tech. I plan on making more videos in the future on Blue Beetle and possibly some other characters, so if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. First thing you need to know about Beetle is his game plan. Beetle's plan is to annoy the opponent or agitate them into making mistakes. Beetle's like really good at doing this because of his uh, counter zoning and his actual zoning against some characters. His flying scarab ability also allows him to sort of mix up the opponent and get them to make mistakes. And his long range normals with trait. 4-2 is a really good forward advancing mid attack. It can be used to check an opponent for walking forward. In trait, this becomes one of the longest reaching normals in the game. This allows for a really good corner control. If an opponent decides to walk forward, you're going to catch them with this. And if they decide to jump, you're going to anti-air them with it. It's also possible to hit confirm this with 4-2-3 and get a full combo with it. Another really good normal for Beetle is his down 3. It's one of the longest reaching sweeps in the game, and it's safe on block. As you can see, it's 11 frames, and it's minus 6. Because it'll check your opponent for walking forward or walking backwards. It's a really good normal, because all his other normals without trait, they have basically no range. Standing 1 is a really fast high attack. You can punish most of the things in the game. And it leads into 1-1-1 if you decide to hit confirm it, which is Beetle's most damaging string, allowing you to hit confirm it into full combos. In trait, make sure you watch out for the second hit not hitting, because Power Blades only elongates the punch attacks. Standing 1 is also one of the longest reaching jabs in the game, if it's not the longest reaching jab in the game. His down one is also really good range. And normal is Blue Beetle's back one. It's a 10 frame mid, and it's zero on block, meaning it's neutral. In combos, it can be used for restands. It's not really gonna be used much in the neutral, but if you were to use it in a combo, for example, You get a free restand into mix-ups. And the higher up they are, the more plus it is. So I'll set Superman to jump so you can see just how many frames I get to move before he does. All right. So the higher up they are when you use the back one, the more plus it is. The last really good normal that I've mention as his important normals are Blue Beetle's back two, because it's an overhead. It's his only overhead normal, aside from four or three. 15 frame overhead. It's minus nine on block, which is unsafe. But with Blue Beetle, all of his moveset consists of mids, if you look at it for the most part, aside from this one overhead. It's usually gonna be used for combo enders. So you're going to use this after you condition your opponent to block low with down forward one, which we'll get into later, to cast them when they're blocking low, and then you can start getting them with combos into setups. Now we're going to get into Blue Beetle's specials. His first special is Energy Cannon, back forward two. Blue Beetle's energy cannon is a fast traveling high projectile that has extremely fast recovery compared to other projectiles in the game. As a 14 frame startup and a really quick recovery, this allows Beetle to outzone most characters in the game and counters on literally every single character in the game. Energy cannon can be used in the air after a flight cancel or you can just use it raw. It can also be used in pressure 
because when you meter burn it, it's plus two. So you do something like that and then down one because you're plus two. And from a distance, it becomes extremely plus. Like, it becomes like plus 30 at full screen. So you just want to throw out the meter burn every once in a while just to check them, see if they're blocking the highs or if they're trying to dash in because you literally cannot dash in on Blue Beetle's zone and when he starts throwing out the meter burns. I'm pretty sure you can't dash in at all because of the 14 frame startup. When you use the meter burn in the air, it's neutral on block, meaning you both get to move at the same time, but the farther away you are, it's slightly advantageous, meaning that you get to guarantee another uh, energy cannon shot before your opponent gets to move in. But make sure you're not using it up close because you're extremely negative, meaning your opponent can just come in and punish you from up close. The next special we're going to be talking about is Blue Beetle's Shield Bash, his back 4-3 attack. It's a very fast mid attack that can be used for checking an opponent walking forward. And it has really good pushback, so you're basically in the neutral after you push block someone to minus four on block. So the re reason you'd want to use this attack is because someone might be walking forward on you when you're zoning and you just want to toss this out, just check them for walking forward. And then just it pushes them back on hit so you can get back into your zoning. And it's also Blue Beetle's wake up if recovery. So I'll set him to this. See, it's completely safe on block. Basically, it's while it is safe on block, on whiff, it has a lot of recovery. So you don't just want to throw it out from any range. Next special is Blade Barrage down forward one it's an instant low attack that's plus 44 on hit allowing for you to get a free dash in or do whatever type of setups you want to uh, blade barrage can be meter burn for a side switching combo that is also capable of being in the setups or you can completely cash out on damage It's a very versatile move because you can use down forward one for the corner switch if your opponent has you in the corner and you can completely switch the roles and start your pressure in the corner it's also a mix-up option because all of almost all of blue beetles normals are mid or high so you just toss in the low every now and then to catch your opponent off guard and once you condition them to begin blocking low, after this, you're gonna start tossing in the overhead with back two. And then you'll have a really good mix of being going on. Blade stab, down back one, is a instant anti-airing high attack. Does a really good chunk of damage. If you decide not to meter burn it. When you meter burn it, the scaling is high, but it launches for a full combo. While it is a really scaling heavy normal, well special, it does add mix up to his knockdown game. Because if your opponent is sitting there respecting your shield slam or trying to bait your shield slam, might I say, uh, you can start throwing out the down back one on wake up to anti-air them for trying to jump over it. And then you get a full combo. Mandible strike 
is a very fast, like extremely fast, long range dive attack that's capable of low profiling high projectiles, high projectiles to an extent and punishing any opponent walking forward or pressing buttons. Mandible Strike does like a really good chunk of damage and you can use it to check your opponent from just about any range around here. This makes it really hard to zone Blue Beetle out, whether or not he's in the air, because now he has two threats. He can either jump in with his flight shenanigans, or he can just dive in with Mandible Strike. Last special move we're gonna be talking about is down back two, Flying Scarab. This is the key special move to Blue Beetle's moveset. What Flying Scarab does, it is, it allows him to float whenever he's airborne for a short period of time. Whenever he's floating, he can cancel his float up or back or forward or slightly forward, or he can just jump right back down. When zoning, this allows him to change the trajectory of his projectile while maintaining its safety, like, because it's really, unsafe to shoot this up close so this makes it a bit more safe depending on the range and allows you to gain a lot of meter because you're forcing your opponent to block the projectile which is intensive to his game plan like beetle gains a lot of meter and he needs meter in order to get his game going beetles one three string can be canceled into down back two because it's considered to be airborne on the second hit because he hops off the ground. This opens up a lot of combo potential. As you can see. Some point Boo Beetle wants to go in with Flying Scarab and mix up his opponent with the flight cancels left or right. can either do it with cross-ups or he can do it with applying pressure with his flight cancel with 1-3 and instantly canceling because on block this becomes a loop that you can constantly pressure people with although it can be poked out of most people won't know exactly what to do against it and it changes with each character exactly how to respond to it so it's a very good pressure loop. The way you cancel his flight is by pressing down once you get to the flight cancel, the actual flight cancel. Once you down back two, you'll just press down and instantly it'll cancel the flight. When you press down, it's considering you to be falling, so whatever jump normal you decide to do while you're falling is overhead. As we know, jump ins have like very little recovery, so you get to constantly loop the string. The timing for making it combo is variable depending on the position of the screen and exactly what air normal you decide to use because you won't be using jump two every time. And I'll explain this when I demonstrate the flight cancel combos. Contrary to popular belief, Beetle's trait, Power Blades, is actually useful. I know, it's crazy, right? Beetle's trait, Power Blades, makes up for his lack of range normals because outside of trait, he literally has no range on his normals. Every single character in the game has more range than him when he doesn't have out trait, aside from his forward two and down three. This trait basically gets rid of all that. All those up close drawbacks that he's ever had, they're gone. But you can't zone, so that's the balancing factor. Can't zone and you lose your shield bash. But that gives him mandible strike instead of shield bash, which has even more range, it's faster, and it low profiles high projectiles. So basically you go from a zoning character to a rushdown instantly. This 
trait grants Beetle even more versatility because it lets him play every single matchup in the game. He outranges just about every character almost, aside from probably Scarecrow. <laughs> uh, he can lock down every, cor every, every single character in the corner, disabling their usage of corner interactables with forward two or jump one because his air to air becomes amazing and gives him one of the best anti-airs in the game with down two. This also gives him really good damage potential mid-screen because without trait, you're forced to burn a bar a meter to start your combos. With trait, he's easily hitting 300 damage for free without using meter. Contrary to popular belief, Beetle's damage is and always has been in line with most of the cast's one bar and meterless damage. He just had some damage inconsistencies as far as his air to air conversions and anti air conversions, but with the patch I'm sure they'll be fixed. I'll be sure to make a video on that once that drops. Here are a few of his easy combos and then I'll go into the more optimal combos. That'll be it for the video. I hope you guys learned something today. Hope you know that Beetle's not even trashed here or anywhere near that. Uh, I'll continue to make content and make sure you leave a like on the video and comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, see you later.